Hello, I'm Katerina, a customer success engineer at Stealthsoft, and today I'll be your guide on the journey into the world of data manipulation and visualization. Let me present for you today our top selling product, Table Filter and Charts for Confluence, which is used for managing tables and data in Confluence. Tables are a powerful tool for organizing and presenting information. So let's unlock their full potential in Confluence by applying filters, grouping data, and creating compelling charts. But before we jump into the technical details, let's imagine a scenario where you need to efficiently manage tasks, empower teams, and provide clear at a glance insights into migration process. This is where our strategies will come in play. Are you ready to take your Confluence skills to the next level? Let's get started. All the examples that I'll show you today are applicable both to cloud and data center versions of the Table Filtering Charts for Confluence app. Also, the app can be easily migrated without any additional actions. Well, now Page Properties Report is our source table. You probably know it is widely used for structured data storage, dynamic summaries, and efficient project management. And as you can see on the screen, we can add filters in a few clicks. Here, we wanted to filter the table by the migration task type and priority at the same time. The app automatically defines types of values and suggests relevant filters, drop-down, free text, number, date, and even visual. By the way, the source data for the filtration may be any table you want. Manually created one, Jira issue, task report, macros, or also tables outputted with the help of third-party macros and apps. To combine, for example, filtration and data aggregation, you need to use the table toolbox macro in cloud or simply drag and drop multiple macros in data center. In the current example, we first filter data by the migration instance type and then we nest the table filter macro inside the pivot table macro to group data. Finally, we get the number of tasks by its stakeholders and their statuses. Data aggregation is highly beneficial in identifying trends and patterns, risk management, custom reporting, performance evaluation, and in many other ways. When it comes to data visualization, our chart from Table Macro comes in handy. It offers you a variety of chart types, which makes it easy to achieve the desired result. All the charts are customizable, and you can interact with charts uh, in the view mode. Uh, you can change chart type, its content, the size, and apply different colors. Now uh, we change the chart type to the pie chart. And this example shows us the number of tasks by its stakeholders. Once you click the section of the chart, you can see the relevant part of the table it is based on. It might be helpful if you want to keep an eye on more details. It should be remembered that visualization is essential in task reporting. It helps to make complex data more accessible and easy to understand, enable easy comparison between different sets of data, emphasize high priority tasks or issues that require immediate attention. Uh, as you might notice, the page properties report outputs only one row with data per page except table headers. 
but if your table has more rows and you need to reuse a table multiple times in different page sections or in different pages and after combine it with other macros for some kind of reporting our table excerpt and table excerpt include macros will be quite valuable uh, wrap the table you want to collect in the report with a table excerpt macro. To create a reference to your table that you can reuse anywhere in your Confluence instance, use unique or equal to all the related tables excerpt names. To collect data from separate tables, use the table excerpt include macro. Uh, here we decided to find the needed tables by labels and include uh, their source page name. Note that you can also include other metadata in the table on the master page, which will be updated if the source page changes. Instead of a regular Confluence table, you can also use tables generated by other macros to place inside the table excerpt macro, for example, Jira issue macro. Even though uh, native Confluence features cannot achieve conditional formatting and custom analysis, you can use our table transformer to tailor your table to your needs. Let's see how it works. In this example, we wanted to track the progress of our tasks and see how many days are left before the deadline. Using a custom scale query, we set a condition that calculates the number of remaining days and highlights the cell if you fall behind. Thus, it helps us to track the schedule and keep up with it. Let me also say that you can use any customer scale queries in Table Transformer using the list of functions available in our documentation. And one more exciting and sudden thing for today. If you are used to Excel or Google Sheets and can't work without some of its functions, you can replace it with our table spreadsheet macro in Confluence, which allows you to create Excel-like spreadsheets for easy data management. Both its interface and functions are designed to resemble Excel as much as possible. After creating a table, you can tailor it to your preference and use conditional formatting or predefined formulas for easy calculation. Filtration, data aggregation, and visualization are also available via this macro. You can keep editing the spreadsheet in the view mode in full screen and minimized frame. And needless to say that you can export and import data in Excel or CSV formats. Moreover, we have the table spreadsheet include macro that allows you to use a single cell or a range of cells from table spreadsheet as excerpts on any page within your instance. Changing the source table spreadsheet will dynamically change corresponding excerpts on other pages. Imagine you need to make some calculations um, in your spreadsheet first and then have the ability to refer to this part of data on another page. Let's see how our macro will handle this task. The result of calculations is added to a new page with this and ready for further data manipulations if needed. In my case, we wanted to make unformatted table visually appealing, so we used table transformer for that. Today you've learned how the macro bundles in our app can improve your everyday task management. I hope you're inspired to test our tool in Confluence and look for new ways to up the productivity. So if you have any questions or you need help to find a solution for your specific case, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.